Hey guys, what's up? It's Anne and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to do a little mukbang. Sobrang little lang nito. Kasi ayaw kong bumili ng sobrang daming food tapos hindi ko naman mauubos. So I just ordered fries. Actually, my plan is shake shake fries. Pero nakalimutan ko and bawal na daw yun kapag nakapagbayad na. And um, a Coke float, Monster Coke float. Kasi this really goes well with, with my fries. Bitten yung regular. And then naisip ko, since I love their iced coffee, I want to try their new iced coffee yung milk. Tapos you can up sizes ng very large, ng very large, ng large, which is 65 pesos. So mura na siya. So let's taste it first for the first time. For me, wala masadong nagbago compared don sa normal nila, parang lumakalang. But I'll definitely buy this. Kasi na uh, binibili ko talaga iced coffee nila whenever long drive kami. So guys, I ask you on Instagram if you want to know anything about my tattoo or piercing. So kung ano yung mga nangyari, kung anong reaction ng magulang ko, ng pamilya ko, nung nalaman nilang nagpa-nose piercing ako and nagpa-tattoo ako. So let's start with... Actually, you guys sent a lot of questions. Ayan. How many piercings do you have? I only have three. Sa ears and then sa nose. Pag-iisahin ko na lang siya kasi parang medyo related yung question. Some of you guys ask if masakat ba magpa-piercing and how much. First is yung how much muna. Nagpa-piercing ako sa needle juice malapit sa school namin. So meron silang dalawang branch which is yung sa school namin and sa Cavite I believe. So if you're near my school, doon kayo pumunta. Just go down sa Vito, Vito Cruz ng LRT. And then, sa taas ng Goldilocks. Sobrang dali lang hanapin nun. So anyway, I actually did a nose piercing video last year. Nung after ko talaga ma-pierce. Nahirap pala mag-video na nagmumukbang, no? Lalo na kanina, sobrang gusto ko nang kainin yung fries ko. Kasi naaamoy ko siya nung nasa kotse ako. So, parang sasakit ata yung siya natin dito. <laughs> The cost to score for this is 500 pesos. Kasi man yung pag pierce, yung jewelry itself not bad na for like a piercing. Um, lalo na sobrang sanitized nung area. And trusted talaga yung needle juice. Um, based from my friends, kasi yung mga friends ko from CSD as well. Um, they go there pag magpapatatu sila or magpapa piercing sila. With any part, um, hindi ko na alam kung magkano. Kasi I'm not yet planning na magdagdag ng piercing pa. Ewan ko. As of now, I have no plan. And kung masak masakit ba siya? Um, yes, masakit siya. Kasi syempre bubutasin. Pero for me, on a scale of 1 to 10, parang 7, ganun. So it's very fast. Parang nagulat ka lang, ganun. Mayroon nagtanong about belly piercing and nakakaiyak ba siya sakit and ilang days ang healing. And mayroon din nagtanong na do you consider piercing your tongue and belly? So I actually thought of that. Yung belly lang. Never ko naisip yung tongue. Hindi ko alam bakit in any parts. Pero yung belly ko, Sobrang gusto kong itry siya. Pero si Alan lang yung nag-PL sa akin. Basta for some hygienic reason. As of now, wala talaga. Pero guys, if you wanna try, kasi I have friends na may belly piercing, so I asked them kung masakit. Habi nila, hindi daw. Para feeling nga daw nila, mas masakit yung sa nose ko compared sa belly piercing nila. And madali lang daw mag-heal. Actually, yung tongue piercing, meron akong friends na meron din sila nun. Sabi, sobrang bilis lang daw mag-heal yung tongue piercing. Kaso medyo mahirap siya at first kasi syempre hindi sana yung tongue mo. So, pagkakain ka, mahirap. At ako, meron funny na nagtanong, is it safe para ba mga mag-healing mag-pick ng booger sa nose? Um, ako, nung medyo bago yung piercing ko, I always use cotton buds. Cotton buds talaga. Kapag tiyatamad tayo, syempre, may times na mag-pick tayo. Pero, for me, for my first six months or so, parang laging cotton buds. Lagi akong may baon ng cotton buds just in case. So, for me, kapag sobrang healed na, I think you can. Kasi, ako kaya ko na ngayon. Considering na stud ako, and kahit nung nakahoop yung piercing ng nose ko, I can na. Pero hindi siguro ng mga bago-bago. How many weeks before mag-heal? And may nagtanong din dito, paano nyo po nililinisan ang, nililinisan ang piercing nyo? And super sakat ba yung nose piercing mo? And how many weeks before mag-heal? Before ako magpa-nose piercing, gumawa ako ng research. And nabasa ko na normally, ang healing ng nostril piercing is 6, to, six months to 1 year. Ganun naman nangyari sa akin. Actually, 1 year na yung piercing ko nung February. And, andun pa rin yung bump niya. 
So, explain ko lang. Um, piercing bump is normal. Normal lang daw siya na, na magkakaroon ka ng bump. So, what you do is, salad solution lang. You mix siguro warm water or siya warm water ginagawa ko or tap water will do. And, um, rock salt, ipagahalo mo siya. Bawal mo gamitin yung iodized kasi may chemical na yun. But, rock salt lang, imimix mo or i- the dissolve mo yung salt and then yun yung pandilinis mo sa, no, sa may bump mo or whatever or sa may nose piercing mo. Pero kapag may bump ka na talaga, I did, na nagsusugat na siya, I did is tea tree oil. I bought it from um, Human Nature. Ay nilalagyan ko siya ng water kasi medyo matapang kapag yung tea tree oil lang talaga. So, sasawso ko yung um, cotton buds sa tea tree oil and then babasain ko rin. So, mix na siya with water and then overnight natutuyo yung bump ko. So, I did that for a week straight. And then, nawala yung bump ko. Now, I have, as in, flat na siya. Tapos, hindi mo na makita yung bump kasi natatakpan na ng stud piercing. Pero, kasi, kaya before, naaasar ako. Di ba, naka-hoop ako. Hindi siya gumagaling kasi hindi pa talaga totally healed yung loob. Nag-hoop na, nag piercing na ako agad. Kasi, di ba, normally kapag, nung pinears kasi yung ano ko, nose ko, stud siya. So, straight. So, ito ba parang yan, straight yung butas niya. So, straight lang talaga. So, stud lang talaga yung pwedeng pumasok. So, nag pa siya. Siguro by 6 months, medyo na-excite ako. Pinalitan ko siya ng hoop. Kasi hoop talaga yung gusto ko. Eh, ang hoop guys, di ba, pabilog na ganyan. So, pero yung butas ko is straight lang. So, imagine ganyan. Tapos, ito yung nalagay. Nakabend na ganyan. So, nagkaroon siya ng panibagong sugat. Kaya, mas tumagal siya mag-heal. Kaya, mas lalong nalagyan ako ng bump. Pero, syempre guys, always ask yung nag-pierce sa inyo. Kasi, hindi man ako professional. I'm just saying or sharing to you guys yung personal experiences ko. May nagtanong, open lang po na tattoo sa school nyo. Ano na pong year nyo? Ano din, ano din po course nyo? I'm already graduating. Hopefully. <laughs> and um, I am currently taking arts management and Benil. So, what I like about my school is sobrang open niya with like anything you want to do with yourself. Being an SDA student for me, nag-help sila to build my character kasi, di ba usually yung ibang college na iniisip ko dati na ah yes, college na ako. I get to do what I want. And then yun, pumasok ako sa Benil. And then, I actually found something about myself na parang siguro kung hindi ako sa Benil, hindi ko makikita yung, yung side ko na ganito. Wala na masyadong questions about um, piercing, pa, um, pero Pero, move on na tayo sa tattoo. Someone asked, What is your first tattoo? I actually shared this on my YouTube video as well. I have a tattoo. So, my first one is this one. Wait, zoom natin. Ayan. It means God is greater than highs and lows. So, I'm not really a religious person. I don't go to church like every Sunday. But, I do pray to God every night. <laughs> And every day when I wake up, and kaya ito yung pinili ko na tatu. Kasi I know and I've experienced na when you're on your highs, when you are on your low, God is always there. Pag nasa high ka, thank Him. If nasa low ka, just thank Him as well. Kasi meron pa siyang mas magandang purpose for that na ibigay niya sa'yo yan. Tapos i-overcome mo. You know, pinapractice niya sa sarili mo to be the best version of yourself. Saan mo po ulit balak magpatato next? As of now, I have really no plan but I want to. I don't have a plan yet where and what tattoo. But nabipicture out ko na siguro when I graduate yung mga international artist that does taking outline portraits nagigets nyo na bibigyan mo siya ng portrait ng family nyo or family mo or whatever ng dog mo or just yourself and then i outline nila. And then yung ngayon yung itatatu sa yun. Hindi siya portrait tattoo. Like normal tattoo, pero alam mong kayo yun. Guys, dala dala ko sa isang manta. Kasi, umiiyak daw eh si mama ng babantay. Di ba may twins ako na pamangkin? You say hello to them, Sam. Samantha! You say hello to them! Name niya is Samantha Gabriel. Tapos yung isa Samara Gabriel. Sa mga samama sa vlog. Sa vlog daw sila. Sama daw siya sa vlog. So, if ever ngayon na magkaroon ako ng guts na gawin yun, I would probably place it here. A rib part, which is yung pinakamasakat na part. But, I want it very close to my heart. Kaya, yun yung plan ko. If you guys don't know, I have um, my... Oh, uh, what do you call this? Ano ba 
arm tattoo among my tattoos. This one, ito yung parang ito yung pinakamasakat for me. Iba vlog si Tita eh. Um, someone asked as well, sino artist mo ate? Want ko din sana ng maliit na tattoo. I will leave his Facebook link sa information down below and then yung piercing shop rin na pinag-piercean ko na binabalik-balikan ko whenever magpapapalat ako ng um, jewelry kasi sobrang sanitized nga nila so I trust them. Um, dito lang sa Valenzuela, very accessible and very nice. Doon din nagpatatu si Alan and then yung kuya ko and then yung friend namin na nirecommend ko. Paano mo po panaliwanag sa parents mo yung tattoo or nose piercing mo? Okay, so pinaka first ever na ginawa ko on my body na na I really decided for it is my tattoo which is yung God is greater than highs and lows. Um, I did that um, last year, October 2017. Last last year pala siya. Kasi 2019 na pala ngayon. Actually, sabay kami ng kuya ko nagpatattoo rin siya. And pares kami ng tattoo. I, actually, my mom got mad. As in, she got mad like, Ah, mato, matattoo ka. Kasi ang akala niya is, ano lang, henna. Kasi mahilig ako mag henna before. And yung mga sticker. So, sabi ko, yeah, henna lang yan. The first na nakita niya. And then, Hindi ko kasi kaya like tell na it's just henna. I told her na it was a real tattoo. Nung nalaman niya, syempre, sinubong ko na rin yung kuya ko para hindi lang ako yung pagalitan. I go, hindi, si kuya rin nagpatattoo. Dalawa pa nga eh. Kasi dalawa nga sa kuya ko yung isa is yung sojak sign niya. Dito man sa right hand. Pero, ayun, ang cute-cute ng baby ko. Ang cute-cute ng baby namin dyan. Okay guys, so I changed location kasi para hindi masyadong mahirap buhatan si Sam kasi may food. Ito siya guys, so you wanna see her? You know, she's smiling! Did you see that? Wow, magbablog ka din? Huh? You smiled at the camera, huh? As I was saying, nagalit nga si mama nung alaman niya nagpatatoo kami. But eventually, na feel niya na wala na siyang magagawa eh. Hindi <laughs> na niya kayang tanggalin yung tattoo. And the next thing I did, I got my nose pierced. It was 2018 February. So October, November, December, January, February. So four months after my first tattoo, I got my nose pierced. Nung nakita niya ano yung nasa ilang mo. And then I said, it um, sticker lang so Sambalis kong pumasok sa room. And lumabas ako, pinakita ko sa kanya. And then she asked, what the hell is that? Is that a piercing? Binutas yung ilong mo? Paano yan? Ngayon. And then she got mad na anong ginagawa ko sa katawan ko. Siguro na-realize niya na, ah, matanda ka na. Na-realize niya na, Bigla niyang inisap, sinabi na, eh, matanda ka na, bahala ka na, ganun. Eh, diba ganun naman yung mga Asian moms na, ano ba yung yago mo? And then, parang the next thing, five minutes after, hmm, bahala ka na, matanda ka na. Yan, ganun. <laughs> so, it's so weird that we're finishing the video here. Pero kasi tinabi ko na to, tinimplok ng gatas, tita duty. So, anyway, to wrap things up about this video, for information only, so, if you're planning to have your nose pierce or tattoo, you can watch this video, pero hindi ko sinasabi na, get your nose pierce or whatever or like go get a tattoo. So ganda pa rin if alam ng parents no and you really want to do it kasi it's for like forever it's going to be your. So make sure na kapag papatattoo kayo or piercing is yung gusto niya talaga. Not just because it's uso, not just because influencer did it or like idol niyo ganyan. So thank you so much guys for sending your questions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And then don't forget to check out all my social media accounts down below. Then again, thank you. Bye.